back here today for part two of the 1963 F100. Today, hoping to just clean up these connectors. After looking at it after the last video, these connectors look pretty bad. They're pretty rough here. So, same over here, they're not connecting too well. Hoping to cut them short since I got quite a bit of slack in them and reconnect them up. I redid that on this wire here and on that one I redid it. But this one is a little rough. Hoping it works. If it doesn't, I'll try to improvise with this wire again. And now since we have a charged battery, it should work. If it doesn't, I'll probably like look at wires. Because last time it sounded like the starter wasn't really wanting to move. So, hoping it's just electricity. Okay, I got my cutters here. I'm probably going to take off these. Bring them up link. I'm going to take them off, cut these short, try to get all these wires off and clean back here or so. Hopefully, then we'll have a little better connection going to the battery. A little less crazy wires and full bolts. And both of them, it's getting a little crazy, a little corroded. Hopefully, when we cut it back, it'll look a whole lot cleaner. So, I'm going to get these took off real fast. And go from there. Lock it real fast. Don't remember exactly what size this was, but I'm hoping it's an 11 on these. I know they weren't a 10. Yeah, they are 11. It's off enough where I can take these off here. So I'm breaking free, I can just loosen them up with my fingers. Come off, baby. There we go. You saw it's like the stick. It's a brand new pair. It's a brand new set of DeWalt sockets. I got pretty cheap. I also check these for corrosion too. If not corroded, we should be good. They don't look to be. Should I put those on the right way? Back. About here. Set them. Those them look corroded. They're all pretty clean. So, come back to like here with it. I would really just use my pocket knife, but I don't think YouTube lets kids have those. So, Can't get that. That works easily. Can you get her to pop off? Always works, but so I can find it at night or something. Struggling pretty bad with this right now. I 
I'm almost thinking I'm pinching the wire not cutting it. I'm not going anywhere with this. I need my pocket knife, but I don't think I can use it. Well, I'll get these off here in a second somehow. I'll get back to you guys. Okay. So I've got the negative on. Can't tell. Some of the wires are somewhat so corroded. But a whole lot better. Ah! Well, that's never gonna get sent again. Hey, I'm gonna look, look at comparison here. Kind of did. That wire's never gonna get seen again. Anyways, I'm gonna do the same thing I did on this one. On positive. And hope we does we do work. Okay, I got this cut off now. I'm getting it back on the terminal battery terminal terminal. Turn it back on. Please tighten down real good. Connect them up. See what happens. I guess. If this don't work, and I got another way around it. Hopefully. Yeah, but we had a pretty big difference. This was what was on it, and that's what I have connected to it now. So if this doesn't pull off anything good, then who knows? Then connect it back on it and tighten down. That's why. I'm gonna put my slack diff. Tying down here in both of them. Have them tying down pretty well. Battery. Everything's connected. I got fuel in it all. I'm fine to set you guys up and we're gonna see a show run again. This time with a little better connections. If not, my next stammer track for is ground connection because that ground doesn't look too good. So, get in the truck, make sure we got electricity. Probably pull you guys in the truck so you guys can see that. What's the interior? Lights up pretty well. When it is connected to electricity, like it lights up, everything reads like it should. I got choke, put choke on. Test crank. Show fire up. We found our problem. Okay. So, knowing that show fire up, and it not taking us that long to change it and just changing a couple connections. We're gonna do some other stuff, some other tests, and some other looks, clean it up, make sure we all the electricity on real good. Let's put some fuel in the carb and shove a pretty simple video. For y'all, it's actually test her because she already tried to purr once I try to start her up. So, double check. Oh. I'm gonna grab the fuel real fast and put some more in her car. Shit fires up, that you should. Then it's a four. We should be right on the dock. When I say it's a Ford and it should fire up, the new stuff, all the new crap can go to hell. I don't like anything new enough to where it has a really good computer in it and where you can't tune in or anything or even carburetor the engine because of how much electricity is in the truck. Or vehicle in general, cars, anything. If it's just electricity, Pretty big. I'm, I'm against it. I hate working on them. I had to work on one because my mom's Chevy engine messed up, so I had to work on one. I'm gonna hop in the cab. You guys can watch the truck, watch her fire up, and we'll get it running. Uh-oh. 
Okay. Started shaking, gas fell over. I'm getting it too going to put a little more fuel in her. She's kind of misty. Exhaust is so uh, she's running. She's burning fuel. I don't got enough fuel in the barrel for it to really try to run. Put a little more in there. I'm gonna have to throw fire up for a second so we can hear. But not enough to just blow up the engine and she don't do nothing. I'm gonna keep the truck probably all the way full. Pull you guys in the truck. She also purr. That's how she does. We'll choke to half, see what happens. Yeah, she fires up. Let's put the rest of the bottle down her, down her throat. And we'll talk a little bit about the truck. And what I kind of want to do for her in the future. I got, some half ball of gasoline left and an engine and a full, fully charged battery. It's not, it's not waste of gas, you know. She wants to fire up now. She likes her life so far. She's still gonna survive. She ain't gonna die yet. That's good stuff. She ain't gonna die while I let her die. Try this one more time. More fuel in her. And... I choke. Ignition and gas pedal that doesn't have any pedal on it. Power. Prime. Get fired, but I can't. I still have the starter going. Try one more time. One more. Okay, it it burnt to all of her fuel. I was listening to it because this truck's nice. You can hear the engine turn over. So if you listen to it right, you can hear it miz and not and just sucking air. When that happens, you mean you're out of fuel in the car. So pull the rest of her in here. She'll fire up now. No doubt. That's all my gas. Down the down the throat. Let's just hope she runs up now. We'll close off the choke here. Like 75% cracker. I need you guys to see what the choke's doing here. Well, that don't work too well. Oh, I can only see the point of it. That's roughly half choke. Armor, electricity, well, she runs. That little engine likes likes it. So we got to run. We got to purr. I'm impressed. I've got, I've never had, got it thrown that long. So, she does like her life. She's good. See, we got an exhaust in the back of the barn. Not much. Dang, you can smell it though. Can't see it, but you sure can smell it. Dang. This pipe's got something in there. Other than exhaust. But, 
I'm gonna say she wants to start being more. That's all of her, all of the life in here. Make sure I don't got no gas just left in the pistons or trying to be in, stuck in the engine. See what happens. Well, now we know she starts though. She ain't gonna fire up no more. We gave her all, all she had. So that close truck. Make sure it's close truck. Put her all back together here. Good. Take the battery out. You know the truck runs it down pretty well. Well enough for something that doesn't have its own fuel pump and not have to prime it. So on the market board, the market board for us so far. It's gonna be a new fuel pump, for sure. New master cylinder, new brake system fully. And I'll give me some new copper tubing and relay, use that for my fuel lines. I don't really trust these babies here. I don't really trust this one either. That goes all the way to my fuel tank. Uh, Riley's, they got these plastic fuel lines, or fuel, like, tank covers basically, or sealants. I don't trust anything that's in my gas tank at the moment. So, I'm going to clean up this place, hopefully. Try to give me a battery just for it. Some new, little, somewhat new wiring. Turns out all I had to do is turn all, both the wire connectors. So they, were, they were misfiring yesterday. Like, it was trying to connect to this, the battery was, but wasn't. So, or basically just snip this off, clean them up here. That is still a little crappy, but I cleaned that off for sure. Engine runs. Oh, uh, fully come check to it. But as I said, a, ma a new mechanical fuel pump, master cylinder, brake lines, fuel lines, a liner, or a sealant slash liner for the fuel tank. I'm going to keep the patina look on her, probably on the outside, keep the patina look, re-put new white paint on the wheels, for the steel, the steel wheels, and same with the bumper here, and the front bumper, I'll repaint them white, and keep the rest of it all patina come through here on the engine bay, repaint her black, everything that's rusted, fix, some liner or so, paint like thin steel sheeting, more work on hinges over here. Same over here. They're both kind of crappy. Check. Probably end up taking the engine out, repainting it, going through it, make sure, making sure everything's there that needs to be there. Engine's running. I don't hear any possible like pinions or anything. My valves. Or anything for misfiring or not starting up good. It's all running together smoothly. My timing's good. I don't have much other stuff. I might get some new lining for my radiator. Maybe a new radiator. She don't look too clean. I haven't seen the inside of her looks like or anything. I don't know if there's anything in there. New lines for air conditioning that was on her. Coolant, water lines. Maybe some work on the water pump. So on. I'm sure your water lines. They're, they're already cracking. Look underneath them. They're, all, they're already cracking. There's probably new ones there. For sure new tires. I know about that. Barely holding in the air. The back ones don't got nothing on them. Work on the interior. Do some body work. Hopefully... So I can get this all done, repaint the frame or whatever if I really want to get deep to it. Hopefully this can be on the show truck and y'all can eventually see the truck. The next project for right now and the main part of it is my red truck. I'm going to try to get that fully running. Then we'll have a truck to run to the store personally for ourselves in the future for this truck. Probably get this truck moved into the other barn or my shop. My tools, full, all my tools are fully at. Well, I've been using a four-wheeler and a trailer to haul them over here. 
to work on, so I don't have to walk back and forth and everything. But, it's working good. This is the original coil for it, so, tell you what Ford is, that's the original coil. All that, it's original. Except the points inside of it, is, I gotta redo that, because they always fall apart once and all. Points to you. Some lining, so on. Just big dude to make sure it all's good and working. Clean. It's not gonna break out on you. But, at least we got a running truck and plans for the truck. Full plans, so on. If you have advice or anything for the truck or for the project I might need, you might think would be useful for me. Feel free to leave a message below, comment, or anything. I'll read them. I don't got nothing else better to do. Because school don't teach me none of this. So I learned by myself with me and my dad. So, hopefully in the future, we may or may not be able to work on this truck right here. That is my dad's truck. He got for his first truck ever. This is my first truck ever. It doesn't look nothing like this when he had it. It's an old 71 Dodge. I don't, know, I don't know the exact model of it. But she's clean. Four wheel drive. Not no, everything in it. Bigger engine, way bigger. He put full drive conversion kit in there. Not the cleanest truck. But also doesn't have, does not have as much rust as my truck does. So, it's got a nice heavy duty wrench on her. Custom bumpers. Custom bus sides. My friend, we got made custom made. Or, um, only thing stock on this is the frame and body of the truck. The rest of it, swap. The frame itself is new. Oh, the frame itself is the original one. Tires all from a, uh, uh, but some, like a, like a deuce and a half. That's, I think, if I remember right, the tires are from, tires and wheels are from that. Been put on the truck, it's been lifted. New bumpers, new engine, new transmission, transfer case, all that's new. New fancy framing for the back, so on. But, it's a, it's a clean truck. Hasn't rained in a minute, but. We're going to focus on. This for a side part, now we know it's run, running, working for us. So, we'll just go on from there. See you guys in future videos. Hopefully we can have more on this truck.